competition is to be subscribed to my YouTube. That was fucked up. Let me do that again. Before I get into this video, I just want to say I'm giving away 10 free t-shirts and all you need to do to be enter into this competition is to be subscribed to my YouTube channel and in March I'll be picking 10 lucky winners to get a free t-shirt for free, bruh. To get a t-shirt for free. Look at that shit. So make sure to subscribe and click that bell for notifications. The other day I was in the Sydney Musicians Network Facebook group and a girl asked for tips for getting gigs and I thought this would be a perfect moment to do a video on just that subject. Now if you're an indie rock cover band or anything like that it's probably going to be so much easier for you. The first tip is just pretty simple. Go to your local gigs, uh, start meeting people, start meeting some of the acts and then eventually you just introduce yourself as an artist and say I'd love to support you guys, love to open for you guys sometime. And yeah, that's pretty simple. However, if you were a rapper, the last thing uh, is my pet peeve. I hate it when a rapper just starts rapping into your ear. It's like, dude, okay, first of all, I can't hear you. There's light, there's music going on in the background. And second of all, people are looking at us, dude. Tip number two is Facebook groups in your local area. These groups are pretty much essential for getting gigs. It's, it's really the easiest place. If you're just starting out, join a Facebook group. Usually there's people looking for support acts or band members and stuff like that. So it's always a good resource. Tip number three is just Googling uh, live music venues near me. And then once you get a list of venues, you can start emailing them. You can tell them that you're looking for a support slot or you can curate your own gig. Uh, that means you'll have to find your own support acts, uh, you'll, you'll probably have to hire a door person, but when you do that, it's just you, you've got so much control over the gig, and then you start networking with other bands, they'll put you on your their gigs. Um, tip number four is, uh, I wish I had a flyer so I could demonstrate this, but when you, when you go into your local cafe or whatever and you see a gig flyer, there will be something like this company presents live music at this venue. You want to Google that company and then send an email to that company saying, hey, I'm an artist, I'd like some support slots if there's any available. Um, that's, that's just a real overlooked way of getting gigs. So look on your flyers, look for the event companies and booking agencies. Um, yeah which brings me into the next one booking agencies that's a good one uh yeah just look up booking agencies uh if you're a cover band it's probably so much easier uh to get yourself an agent but um yeah look for your local independent booking agency um yeah just tell them you're looking for support slots and hopefully you know if they're a similar artist you get put on i hope these tips were helpful uh, please comment below if I missed out on any tips or if you have any better tips uh, just put that in the comment section and make sure to like the video and subscribe check out lowfly.xyz don't forget I've got a competition going 10 free t-shirts to 10 lucky subscribers so make sure to subscribe and click that like button Please.